So we currently have these uh, two sick gulper catfish that have been sick for uh, for a month. One of them like for a month and well, one of them is probably for two weeks, and another one is probably for four weeks. I'm gonna take them out and give them uh, an injection of vitamin B1 because uh, I have a reason to believe this is because of the vitamin B1 deficiency due to thiaminase in the herring that I have been giving them and that just uh, pre-soaking herring in Vitacam is not enough the, uh, the vitamin B1 is probably decomposes continues to be decomposed by the thiaminase or something else is wrong anyhow I'm gonna try and give them an injection and see how it goes Usually it's behind the dorsal and the muscle mass. Put them back, see what happens. It's this one and this one. This one is good. We have only three gulpers left. We're also going to do the same thing for the um, sickly hybrid tiger shovel nose red tail the one by the wall. It's been uh, list, uh, very lethargic and lost appetite a couple of months ago. And it's been spinning and uh, sometimes it spins upside down, sometimes the right side up. But again, I'm testing the thiaminase hypothesis. So I'm gonna go in and uh, Try and give it a, an injection.
were having the same problem with thug. It was eating like there was no tomorrow, and all of a sudden he got sick, lethargic, lost appetite. So we're gonna give him a shot as well. Let's try. Well, this is uh, probably about 10 days after the, I gave them a shot of B1, vitamin B1. This is gulper number one. The one in behind is gulper number two. And they have been doing fine in terms of not swimming upside down, not laying out in the open, not spinning, etc. None of those crazy behavior and crazy erratic swimming movements and unreasonable behavior have been shown ever since I gave him a shot of B1. But uh, neither of them have shown any appetite yet. And I hope it's just been too early because that disease was dreadful. And uh, they looked like dead fish swimming before I gave him a shot. So right now it's much, much better. Same goes for the two hybrids. The big hybrid has never shown erratic swimming since then, but he's not very active and at the same time he's very aggressive. I mean, he's been fighting with this uh, red tail, pushing it out of that corner. I don't know why all of a sudden this territorial dispute, but if, if a fish defends a territory, that means it doesn't feel too bad. It immediately stopped swimming or being upside down or spinning or on its side, etc. None of the none of the symptoms of compromised brain, I would say, or central nervous system have been shown by this by the big hybrid. And the same goes for the smaller hybrid. And the smaller hybrid is the one that have shown a little bit of appetite. The two last times I fed this tank, thug mouthed the, the fish. I'm gonna you're gonna see it later after this uh, episode. So he's got some some appetite, but he hasn't eaten anything yet. But he's behaving quite fine. Remember how he was laying upside down, pretty much almost dead. He stopped it right away after I gave him the shot. This is vitamin B1, half a gram. So 
I'm gonna stick it in the in the herring. Just like that, it's inside. And we're gonna try and give it to to one of the guys who was sick. yet. Taylor took it. But the hybrid that was sick, by the way, right now it's about uh, eight or nine days since I gave him the B1 shot. At least he shows some appetite. He took it in his mouth. He's just not there yet. He may need another, another shot. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But he's been behaving pretty well. Pretty much after about a day after I gave him the shot, he came back to his usual self, at least behavior-wise. Was swimming around, right side up, alert. Just overall fine. He's, he's a bit thin, of course, from not eating for the past, I don't know, like a month. Three weeks before they shot, and now one week after. He hasn't been feeding. Thug, his name is, of course, if you... If you watch my channel, you will know. This is the Thug, 